a bunch of us had a good time in Vegas. Kyle Taylor did not have a very good time yeah. in Las Vegas. What happened to him? We went to, the Flamingo has a really big pool. We showed up, everybody was completely just like gone. One of those people was Kyle Taylor. He was the drunkest yeah. of them all. He'd put like all of his things, like he got a locker, like put his bag in there and we all kept our stuff in there. At a certain point, it became very obvious it was time for Shirtless Kyle to take a little bit of a nap. And unfortunately, somebody, we never figured out who, took his bag out of the locker and set it on the ground, I guess to get something else of theirs out of the locker, and then walked off. And in that bag was his wallet, his iPhone, a lot of cash. Oh The my worst God. part of it was, I was one of the last people to leave the pool, and I remember seeing that bag on the floor and thinking, oh man, somebody left their bag, and walking right past it, because I had no idea it belonged to Kyle. I became a drunk detective at some point, because after we got into our room, somebody started saying, hey, I think Kyle might have had a bag. He keeps talking about where's his stuff. So I, I remember the bag that I saw, and I was like, I'm on the case. And as soon as I got in the elevator down to the floor, I was like, oh, no. I'm also really drunk. I remember... You're like a terrible Batman. At some point, I got pizza. I don't know when in my search, but I remember at some point, I had pepperoni pizza was in my that, I picture you with a magnifying glass following footsteps, and you end up at a pizza stand. You're like, a clue. And you're like, eating, <laughs> eating pizza. I finally made my way to Lost and Found. I had my pizza. I was like, yo, uh, my friend lost his bag. It had like a wallet and an iPhone. And the guy on the other end goes, ha, okay, I'll look for that. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit, that's not a good sign.